hello YouTube welcome back to my video in this video I am going to show you how to create a sign in button uh, using Java in your Java web project so you can allow your users to sign in through uh, their Instagram profile uh, to your web project so here we go first go on to your uh, browser and search for Instagram uh, developer site so once you search for Insta Instagram developer you will uh, get the uh, developer login for the documentation section just click on, the, click on there so this will be your first screen uh, after uh, going to the developer side so first you want to do is just login uh, through Instagram so I am uh, logging in okay I have logged in uh, in my developer Instagram now you have to go to is uh, go to manage clients you have to create a, a register a new client i have already done that so for your information uh, i'm going to create a register a new client to get uh, the client id which we'll be needing in your in our project java project so first go to register a new client now give an application name so i'm giving as uh, genome login app okay so in the description just give some description this test company name i am giving as chillyfax my website name chillyfax.com just give any website name that they are not checking uh, what this is actually uh, now this is an important uh, thing valid uh, redirect url so uh, this is basically like once uh, your uh, user clicks the login button uh, the login process will take you first to the Instagram developers uh, section and from the it will be returning after successful uh, registration it will be returning back to a page so this is what we want to give uh, in the redirect URL so in my section I have already created a project here install login where I'll, I want to return uh, the return the uh, after confirmation of from the Instagram side, I have to return to the success page. So I'll be giving a like, uh, okay, I have given uh, the redirect URL as installogin.success.jsp. Uh, so um, uh, the Instagram will be re redirecting back to this page after successful verification of uh, uh, the user. So I'm giving my email ID here. Now, let me fill the captcha. okay let's register okay now I have registered the login app this is the client ID this is my support email this is the client status sandbox mode this means it is a, a test mode now uh, let's go to the manage this one and here you can see the client ID is there client secret is here so we will be needing these two in our project so uh, this is our project I told I have uh, created a common things uh, dot Java here where you want to put your uh, client ID client secret and authorization URL so I'm using these values in my uh, in my these pages I'll show you first let, let's copy the client ID and the client secret so client ID is this one and client secret is this one and uh, the authorized re redirection URL so it will be in here I am just copying there also here yeah, okay now I will show you uh, the process workflow of this one so this is my index page this is uh, I have given an href link which is taking a actually to this page uh, it's a get request actually so this will authorize your client ID and the redirection URL and to return a code and this code will be returned to the success page in the success page I am just uh, uh, getting that code in request get parameter and this code I am passing uh, to um, call a get request again inside this okay to this uh, URL I am uh, calling a get request with the client ID and client secret and uh, redirection URL and the code which I have re which I have got from Instagram on the first step so I'm just uh, getting that once this is submitted it will return a JSON request with the 
username id profile picture and uh, full name all these it will return a json so i am just passing that json object here and getting all the variables which insta instagram has written so i am setting that uh, variables to a java class it's, uh, it's an object of java class actually this uh, class is having all the parameters what instagram is returning on uh, the successful login of the user okay now we are all ready to uh, start uh, testing of our project now uh, i'm right clicking on the index page and uh, just clicking the NAND server let's see okay it has uh, started uh, the page and uh, the project so you can see i have just given an href link here let me copy this uh, to my chrome and let's see okay i have started uh create an href you can uh, see down it i am pausing the client id and uh, the redirect url to the api instagram.com let's uh, click there and let's see what happening so if i'm clicking this it is uh, taking back to actually uh to my uh login authorization page from uh, the instagram so this is in sandbox mode means uh, this is in test mode this is take, uh, taking the your media and your profile info so if you want a more information like your email address you will have to get back to the live mode now this is the sandbox mode i'll show you how to uh, go to the live mode now this is the sandbox mode and uh, if i'm authorizing it it should uh, let get me back all the information of the user let's see oops uh, there is some error coming here it's uh, 400 for url let's uh, go to the code and let's see what is uh, the error okay mm, yes i am sending a post request i am putting a space here maybe because of that it's uh, because of the space let me go to common thing yes one space is there let me remove that and uh, restart my server and coming back to my login page okay i'm back to my login page you should have uh, a strong uh, exception handling mechanism in your project to handle this kind of exception let me click that again let's see what's happening yes uh, the login is successful it's returning my name uh, my full name and uh, my id which is uh, coming from the instagram so it's actually login success let me show you the success page from here now before that you can see in the console or the json request what actually uh, the api has returned i have coded to just show that so in the success page i'm just pr printing a login success message and uh, the image and the username and full name and id of the user which is uh, actually returned by the api in the form of json you can see this is the profile picture path which is returned from the api so this is how we can do the integration for instagram a login for your java project and i'll share the source code below and if you have any doubt in this please comment below and be helping you as i told uh, this is in the sandbox mode of uh, uh, the project so only the registered user can attach the user so if you want uh, to add more sandbox users i mean for testing just go to manage and you can see here sandbox you can just add uh, the username and get uh, approval for the testing and now in this project is taking only the name and the profile picture if you want to get other details like the basic comments followers list likes and other things you have to send a submission request for sending a submission request how to fill the uh, privacy policy url of uh, your project so if you are going to lie you should have the privacy policy url you will have to put here and update the client only then uh, the submit is uh, start a submission will be active for you and uh, that's all for now uh, about uh, uh, login with uh, instagram so please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching and i'll share the source code below if you have any doubt Please comment below and thanks for watching. Bye bye.